Hey YouTube, Shukran Shinobi here with a review of the Bandai Premium Shop Exclusive or Bandai Collector Shop or whatever it says on here. Uh, SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Skull from the uh, Double and Decayed Movie Tyson 2010. Um, Narumi Sokichi in the, well, plastic, I, I guess. Um, really, really awesome figure. Um, I have a couple complaints with it, but it's not really the figure's fault, more or less the quality control. But anyway, um, nice black box to go along with the color scheme that the, uh, the Kamen Rider double figure arts have, uh, set up. Black and white picture of Skull. Um, he kind of looks fuzzy with the white here, and I don't know, I'm just kind of making shit up. Uh, Kamen Rider Skull, nice silver, uh, silver paint. Silver text, there we go, to, uh, go along with the silver accents on, uh, Kamen Rider Skull. Um, uh, back here we've got Skull with the Skull Magnum, um, looking like he's in a western, blowing the smoke off the barrel of the gun. Uh, skull and everything he comes with right here, and then uh, Skull looking badass, as always, right here with the Sao Amano Tsumio Kazero, right there, and that's about all for the package, so let's go ahead and uh, get this guy open. Uh, like I mentioned in my Rising Inksa review, if yeah, you guys watched that, uh, he has some loose leg problems, um, but it seems to be a common thing in the double figure arts, and... Um, there's really nothing you can do about it. I guess you could take the joint apart and try to glue it a little bit, but uh, anyway, the hands got kind of messed up. So we fix those. Come on, hands, fix. There we go. All right, so we've got skull right here, lost driver, two hats, one with the uh, the little cut, one without. So depending on whether you wanted him to be displayed right before he dies or when he is in the movie or beforehand uh, your choice uh, skull driver or skull driver skull magnum it is always in the uh, maximum drive position because that's how skull ro ro rolls I'm excellent at talking today and uh, two scarfs one blowing in the wind for like an action pose and then one just laying flat along the back and then four sets of hands uh, kind of a splayed open Weird index finger position hand, probably for the uh, Sao Simio Casero pose. Uh, yeah, from the looks of it. Um, just normal, relaxed, splayed open hands. Actually, I'm not too sure what's going on. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, these are hat holding hands right here. These ones right here are hat holding hands. These ones are for Sao Mino Simio Casero. Uh, these ones are just splayed open, relaxed hands, and then uh, Skull Magnum holding hands. That's awesome that he comes with hands to hold the hat. That's really neat. So, um, hopefully you can pull off the, uh, the pose that he's not in right here. Um, oh, uh, my desktop wallpaper is him holding the hat. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's go ahead and pop him out here. Uh, you can't grab him by a lost driver because the lost driver is really loose. So, uh, as you can see, he's got a little bit of floppy leg syndrome. Um, but it, it's, it's not as bad as a couple of the double figure arts that I have, so, uh, I'm thankful for that. He's got a little niche right here that you can't see, but, uh, but right there, there's a little bit of nick of silver paint, and then his shoulder pad's a tiny bit messed up right here. But, uh, I can look past that because he's skull and he's awesome, so, um, it's still a kind of disappointing factor, though. Uh, the Lost Driver, as always, is removable, uh, so you can pop this on Joker Joker when you get in and pretend you have Kamen Rider Joker early, even though he's got a silver line going down the middle and Joker doesn't, but, um, enough bullshitting around. Let's go ahead and build this guy, basically, so pop off his skull, huh, puns. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the, uh, just the normal, normal scarf. I will take pictures of the other scarf, though, so if you're really interested in checking out that, uh... That. And his leg just fell off. Hooray, Skull! Uh, skull's now... Handicapped. That's wonderful. This is the kind of things that happens when you take off your head. Alright, so I think that that's all settled now. I think that's in... 
Uh, so I guess you could solve the uh, loose leg problem by uh, coating this right here with a little bit of glue. And that usually tightens things up. Um, but that is totally your choice. It just kind of slid right back on so it is loose. So uh, you can fix that if you... This is this is going great. Uh, fix that if you want to. God damn it. Pieces just stay in... Skull, skull's so frightening, I guess, that uh, all the pieces just kind of want to leave. Um, and there has been some warning going along uh, Hench and Justice about uh, his hat. I, you have to really kind of dig it in to uh, get it in. I kind of put it a little bit sideways, but I did it on purpose. Um, to get it in like that. And uh, I heard that if you keep taking it on and off, that uh, there will be some, some paint rubbing off. Which is really disappointing, considering that the whole God, the whole point of having a hat. This is going like G4. Uh, the whole point of having the hat is just to be awesome, and if he can't keep taking it off without hurting himself, that's just kind of sad. So here we finally have Skull looking like Skull. So um, I'll just be kind of quick about it and uh, give him. Skull Magnum holding hands right here. Of course, more shit falls off. Um, that happens frequently, though, with the double figure. It's, there's nothing keeping those in besides the hand itself and a tiny little tab. So uh, those fall off quite frequently. Alright, so those are in, um, and just for fun's sake, let's, uh, it's really nice and comfortable in the hand, so, uh, let's just bring in the box, move that aside. And voila, we've got Skull looking quite badass, if I do say so myself. There we go. So, a really cool, um, is he as cool as some of the double figure arts? I don't know, it's debatable. Um, the loose joints are kind of a killer, and the fact that he's all flat plastic with, uh, with no real matte finish or anything like that is kind of disappointing. But, um... He still looks really nice, he looks very skull, um, and that alone makes him pretty badass. So I do I do recommend him if you're a fan of uh, the movies, if you're a fan of skull. Uh, it's a definite, definite buy. Um, if you missed out, uh, you might be able to find him on Yahoo Japan Auctions or something like that. Um, again, same with Rising Inks, if you can get him below about 5,000 yen, that's that's a, that's a decent price, and uh, and I can accept that for uh, for this guy. So, um, check out a photo gallery at flickr.com slash photo slash Shukin Shinobi, and I'll try to get some pretty cool shots of this guy set up. And, um, as always, check out shukinshinobi.wordpress.com for all the latest news, updates, and release dates. And lastly, uh, check out our podcast, uh, with Dawson Rider and Jedi Mon at, uh, shukinshinobi.podbean.com, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Um, to subscribe via the RSS feed or iTunes. So, uh, be on the lookout for the photos of this guy, and, uh, Stay tuned, take care, and have a great one. Bye.